Some people may not know this, but uh, obviously this is my old neighborhood. Uh, I used to teach right around the corner. Uh, this is where Michelle and I met, where we fell in love. This is where we raised our daughters in a house just about a mile away from here, less than a mile. Uh, and that's really what I've come here to talk about today, uh, raising our kids. I love you too. I love you too. I'm here to make sure that we talk about and then work towards giving every child every chance in life, building stronger communities and new ladders of opportunity that they can climb into the middle class and beyond, and most importantly, keeping them safe from harm. You know, Michelle was born and raised here a proud daughter of the South Side. And last weekend, she came home, but it was to attend uh, the funeral of uh, Hydea Pendleton. And Hydea's parents, by the way, are here, and I want to just acknowledge them. They are just wonderful, wonderful people. And as you know, this week, uh, in my State of the Union, I talked about uh, Hydea uh, on Tuesday night and the fact that, unfortunately, what happened to Hydea is not unique. It's not unique to Chicago. It's not unique to this country. Too many of our children are being taken away from us. Two months ago, America mourned 26 innocent first graders and their educators in Newtown. And uh, today I had uh, the high honor of giving uh, the highest civilian award I can give uh, to the parent uh, or the, the, the families of the educators who had been killed in Newtown. And, and there was something profound and uniquely uh, heartbreaking and tragic, obviously, about a group of six-year-olds being killed. But last year, there were 443 murders with a firearm on the streets of this city. And 65 of those victims were 18 and under. So that's the equivalent of a new town every four months. And that's precisely why the overwhelming majority of Americans are asking for some common sense proposals to make it harder for criminals to get their hands on a gun. In too many neighborhoods today, whether here in Chicago or the farthest reaches of rural America, it can feel like, for a lot of young people, the future only extends to the next street corner or the outskirts of town, that no matter how much you work or how hard you try, your destiny was determined the moment you were born. There are entire neighborhoods where young people, they don't see an example of somebody succeeding. For a lot of young boys and young men in particular, they don't see an example of fathers or grandfathers, or uncles, who are in a position to support families and be held up and respected. And so that means that this is not just a gun issue. It's also an issue of the kinds of communities that we're building. And for that, we all share responsibility as citizens to fix it. We all share a responsibility to move this country closer to our founding vision that no matter who you are, or where you come from, here in America, you can decide your own destiny. You can succeed if you work hard and fulfill your responsibilities. Now, that means we've got to grow our economy and create more good jobs. It means we've got to equip 
every American with the skills and the training to fill those jobs. And it means we've got to rebuild ladders of opportunity for everybody willing to climb. Now, that starts at home. There's no more important ingredient for success, nothing that would be more important for us reducing violence than strong, stable families, which means we should do more to promote marriage and encourage fatherhood. You know, I, don't get me wrong, as the son of a single mom who gave everything she had to raise me with the help of my grandparents, you know, I, I turned out okay. <laughs> but, no, no, but, but I think it's, you know, so, so we got single moms out here, they're, they're heroic what they're doing, and we are so proud of them. But at the same time, I wish I had had a father who was around and involved. Loving, supportive parents. And by the way, that, that's all kinds of parents. That includes foster parents, and that includes grandparents, and extended families. It includes gay or straight parents. All, those parents, those parents supporting kids, that's the single most important thing. Unconditional love for your child, that makes a difference.